Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. <laughs> Hey guys, we are here for the first time with me phone here of Season 6 NBA Playoffs. That means it's about to start and go big with our amazing great matchups in between those franchise teams of the players. That is correct. We've also known that the day is already awaiting us to see for the 75th season of the game. From the NBA to see for the first time here since many years ago of the first season. And you have never seen it before? Well, go ahead and go back to where we have, where NBA have began. Switch to Wikipedia. And also, you'll get some amazing look here how this turns out. Today's matchup, first time for this game as the Miami Heat plays against Brooklyn Nets here for the first game of the season. Last time they have met each other since 2017 of the first season. That was also included in here as well. If you check out the first season from Chris Sonic Guy, it's right up there in the calling card. But right now, we are about to do the first game in between those two. It's Jimmy Butler against Kyrie Irving. These are the key matchups that we'll be playing here for the first round in the game. Right now, we're about to go ahead and head you over to Miami for the first game of the season. Right now we have the starting lineups. We have Kyrie Irving, Seth Curry, Bruce Brown, Kevin Durant or KD, and Andre Drummond, also called AD. On the other side we have is Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, PJ Tucker, and Bam Adebayo. Let's head you over down to the arena to start the first game of the playoffs. Right now, here's your starting lineups for the Brooklyn Nets. Number one, in a small four position, Bruce Brown. At shooting guard, number 30, Seth Curry. At his center, number zero, Andre Drummond. At point guard, number 11, Kyrie Irving. And in point four, number seven, Kevin Durant. Your head coach for the Brooklyn Nets. Steve Nash. And now, here are your starting lineups for you. Shooting guard. Number 55, Duncan Robinson. At, at, at center, going forward, number 17, PJ Tucker. And point guard, number 7, Kyle Lowry. And set center, number 13, Bayo. And in small forward position, your man, number 22, Jimmy Butler. And your head coach for the Miami Heat, Eric Spolstra. Let's hear it for your heat, heat, heat! What a nice commentator there. You're doing very good. I know, practicing a lot of them is just a lot that it takes. But we're here at the FTX Arena. It's about to go start things off here for the first playoff game ever. We got a lot of them going on, but that's a lot of hard work. 
Well, we're about to see David Aldridge on the sideline as we approach here. Good evening to you, Kevin. Well, Kyle Lowry is still getting it done. He said getting older, more mature, the game slows down. You know the situations you're going to be in. And as a point guard, you learn how to control the game a lot better. And he's still one of the best to do it at both ends of the floor. Kevin? Thank you very much, D.A. Right now, the starting lineups has occurred here already, as we see Nicholas Claxton. Last 10 games with 78 percentage, but this season wasn't going really well. Only 68 percentage at the time. Same thing with an effort strategy that turned out to be just like him. Of course, Nicholas uh, Claxton has done a lot of work out there, but he's not paying it off. That's either way that he wants to get it through. Key matchup is Butler and Kyrie Irving. Most of your players, what's your take here for Jimmy Butler and how well he has played? Well, their team is doing really well. They're keeping up it strong and right in the money. But I think the other team for Kyrie Irving, it might be going down hard. They're losing so many players, but that will not happen at that game. The tip-off has started and we are underway here in Miami, all fueled up and ready to go for the first game in the playoff season. Right here, here is Robinson. Robinson taking over his Butler. Butler inside the paint, and he gets a first bucket here in this one. Jimmy Butler has gotten his first bucket here for tonight in the first round of the playoffs. Jimmy Butler really seems like he's got a lot of great work out there, but he might be doing a lot of hard work taking it from here. Bam on a bio, scores the layup after the assist by Kyle Lowry with the steal. That's a great help you on defense. Block that pass. That's a lot of great work. Curry. Right on Kyrie Irving. Curry for three. And that will go in there as first three-pointer will be on Curry for the first game after Irving's assist. Irving really has gotten a lot better at it, but it might be very hard for him if he wants to keep it going alive again and again. After turnover turned out to be Miami, it will be Brooklyn Ball. With under five minutes remaining, here's Irving. He moves over to Drummond, finds Durant. Durant scores a drive, and that will be Drummond's assist. Kevin Durant, he's really doing really well at his own time. But he might be putting a lot of effort out there, and we may not be seeing it how well this goes. Butler right to Lowry. Butler. Free for Robinson. In there! That's Butler's assist. And that will be up by two. Irving on Lowry. He pulls it in there. Alley oop. And it's off the bound. And that will be Lowry's um, first rebounder of the game. The alley oop is very that difficult because you're not sure what's going to happen. If you're going to keep the ball, you got to get ready for it. A nice drive for Robinson, but it comes up short after a first uh, rebound turned to the ERA. Way. And now the first foul is called on Bam on a bio. First team foul on Miami. With under four minutes to play here in the first quarter. Brett Brown's got a lot of uh, great, great effort out there. And because of uh, he's playing really hard at that point, he might be keeping it going here to keep another season to keep a record going. Uh, if he joins in for the new season, then I think he might be doing it a lot much better than last season. The first free throw is good for Brett Brown. And your take for Eric Spolstra, those two head coaches are doing really well. But when you talk about Eric Spolstra, what's the key here? for this player to be on the lookout. Uh, my time is just uh, is just right. But I think overlook um, looking each guys could be a lot much harder than the other one to take it from here. I think that Eric Spolstra are trying to uh, make the agreement to put it on here. I know they have already played here last time since they let the head coaches make it all the way to the finals. And that's a lot of great coverage. Robinson answers a three, and Kyle Lowry will take the number two assist. That's two in a row for Lowry. What a play here. Irving finds Durant. 
Tucker on the cover. Screen on Drummond. Drummond outside. Six to shoot. Irving up. He goes in the paint. He makes a drive, and that will be the first one to go from here. Right now, Miami Heat calls timeout because they will make a new change up here on offense. We'll be right back after this. After the timeout has been changing over on our offense, no substitutions yet, as there will be another one to keep an eye on. Opponent points here as we've seen the league leaders. What was happened before they were in third place? They didn't really try to hesitate that much with the opponent to try to keep an eye on them. I think that, yeah, I agree with you because most of these teams are doing really well and not too many of them are bringing in for a, a, a better timing to get on the run. Butler off the bound, but P.J. Tucker trying to bring it back in there. And a foul is called on Brooklyn. That will be on Brett Brown, his first. So for P.J. Tucker, he really has gotten a good strength. He's looking for a great rebound. And for Jimmy Butler off the end, I think he's looking for P.J. Tucker to hit the free throws for the playoff game of this season. P.J. Tucker shooting two free throws at the free throw line as the clock stops at 2.52. First free throw went off. And now a new changeup. It will be LaMarcus Aldridge replacing Andre Drummond in the center. No fouls given up here for Andre Drummond. He's already okay. And he makes his second free throw. That's one out of two for P.J. Tucker. And they're up again to take it from the other way. Up by two. Here's Curry with a drive. And that will tie it up the game. Curry's got a great look of his uh, average. Not looking for a three-pointer here for tonight. I'm not sure what to say about this one, but that's, uh, that's a lot of uh, average that he has to bring. Lowry, back to Anabayo. With a free throw. Here's Robinson. Cutting the drive, and he goes up by two. J Robinson, he's really trying to keep this thing in a lot. Not really sure if you can remember this call, but that's a, that's a heck of a game. Irving right to Durant. Durant, squeezing in here from the paint, goes up, and it misses off the target as P.J. Tucker takes the rebound. All right now, we're under two minutes of play here in the first quarter. On a bio, wrap around, what a play, what a finishing drive, and it's Butler with the assist. On a bio, he's like only the biggest man here in the center, but I think he might be going for a defense or the slam dunk. Irving right to Durant. Durant in attack, and a foul is called on Butler. Galbita is his first, second team foul on Miami, with 1.36 remaining. Kevin Durant, he was pulling in that quick, but when the foul was reached on him, it wasn't on Tucker, it was on Butler. That turned out to be just like him. The Brooklyn Nets are shooting uh, two out of three free throws at the line, and right now, Durant will be taking it from here. The first free throw is good. New couple changes here for the Brooklyn Nets and the Heat as three players are checked out. But Durant moves over to small forward. And the other team we're looking at, Robinson, Butler, and Tucker checked out. And that would be Butler moving to point forward. Victor Oladipo is back in a secondary lineup so far. We're talking about him. And what is the key here how well as Victor Oladipo can do? Uh, I say that Victor Oladipo has gotten a lot of, got of work out there. I think he might can do it. We'll see about his score. Hero for three. Rebounded by Butler. That's a great rebound here for Miami Heat as they're moving the ball around. Oladipo, Adebayo, looks for Oladipo. And that's a heavy contest shot as Durant picks up the rebound. Mills for three. It misses off the target. 
Last minute of the play here for the first quarter. Here's Hero. Hasn't played with us yet. Adebayo, Lowry to Butler. Butler when they give drive in, and that's in there as Butler takes the number one. You can feel that the crowd is really liking Butler so far. I think most people really love Butler. Better than LeBron James, or even of course the other team like Anthony Davis. Oh, we chucked it away from Adebayo! That deflected over. Hero! In the attacker, and he is alive. What a stunnable man. Tyler Hero, he was just out of an insane place that he is going in, but I think he might be going for another one. Do it again, Tyler. Aldridge to Anabayo. The double man on him. Now changes to one. Johnson on against Oladipo. Five to shoot. Johnson with the shot. It's rebounded and it's no good for Brooklyn. Adebayo to Butler, and Lowry with the deep, and it's off. That will end the first quarter, 19 to 12. Butler is dominating his run performance. Heat lead by seven. We'll be right back after this. You know, it really boosts myself, my team, and it really takes a lot from the other guys because they think they have a play a dunk, a pass, an assist, or something, and it's like, no, that's not there. And it's a foul on the other guy, maybe the star player, maybe the shot blocker, maybe anybody. And that's what I do. I do whatever it takes to help my team win. Right now, the second quarter has begun so far, and we talked about Kyle Lowry that he has been playing here quite some time, but he has heard that for his charging team fouls that turned out to be very undoubtedly not even cooperative enough. There is, you can see, three-pointer of Goran Dragic after playing with the Heat, but now he's with Brooklyn so far. They want him back. And let's uh, let's try out one, just one more bit. Struss, able to save it. Victor Oladipo alive. Three-pointer, good! That's a deep three shot after Struss assists. And we talked about Kyle Lowry's uh, team foul. What is your average to take here while Kyle Lowry needs to Kyle Lowry needs to help him out with the team? Those teams really need to find their way to keep their eyes on that one because we know that was a lot of that pressure, and uh, it's a lot of worth it that they need to keep an eye on. But they really got to get there in time. Oh my goodness! Victor Oladipo takes the first block. What a play! And your mobile one block was out of bio with a block and an out-of-the-way moment. Yeah, I, I see that. It looks like Bam out of bio wants to reject that. I think they all really love him. They, lead the, they only need to keep one of the franchise players with the Heat. And you, if you remembered it before, since 2020, they made it all the way to the NBA Finals to face against the Lakers, but they lost in that round, and that was it for them. It was only the Lakers champions. Yeah, I always know that's a lot of great help here as we are all seeing them coming on back again. I'm hoping we might see some uh, great plays there. Oh my! Adebayo saw Oladipo with the dunk. And that is the other lane that you got to check it out. Oh, wow. Oladipo really got slammed out there. That's a, that's a one heck of a run. Patty Mills. Looking for the man, and he scores in a drive. That would be the first bucket for Mills. Patty Mills, not even just enough to uh, to go with that drive, but um, after he's playing with the with the Suns at that point, they're all looking for him to keep an eye on the player. But that might be very hard for him to keep the run. Claxton outside. He goes right to Griffin. Oladipo on the cover with a shot. Claxton outside. Inside he goes. That will be a two-pointer for Claxton, and they're coming back in. Heat still in the lead. Here's Oladipo. Bounce pass to Martin. Finds Adebayo. Shots fades. Goes up again. Oh, in and out. Not good at all. 
That was fairly close. That would have came in inside the uh, inside the inside the rim, but it looks like it went off out of target. Thomas on Oladipo. The reach is called on Martin with a first third team foul on the Heat. Now the new changes are being lifted here. Blake Griffin sits out. Sharp will take the handle of it with Curry and Brown. Then another three players checking in. Tucker, Strauss, and Robinson. Sharp in the corner. Finds Drogic. Screen. Rechecks away. Five to shoot. And that's a great D on Tyler Hero. No foul for him. Yeah, it looks like Tyler Hero is on a roll. Rookie of the year. Well played. Finds uh, Tucker. Tucker with a shot lost. And he missed the rim. Here's Drogic. Drogic on Hero. With a screen. It's taken away by Tucker. Tucker on the attack, looking Martin, and uh, missed again from the other end as Miami couldn't be able to save the bound. Brown up, missed again. That's another hero with the layup of the rebound. Rebounding is tough because you know that the other players can definitely take it from the other lane. You're going to need to definitely get right through it. Hero. Off and an easy run. That's a layup scoop. And they're taking it over again. Drogic find Curry. Back to Drogic with a layup. He drives it in there as the next timeout is called by the Heat. With 2.09 remaining. Miami Heat lead by five. And it looks like there might be a one simple change up here that we might all have looked on. The NBA playoffs is definitely unreal, but I think there might be another one that might start their run. I guess I agree with you because that is a, a lot of encouragement out there that they have definitely played here before. But not to worry, they've really gotten a lot of great courage on the strength and totally enough. What do you have to know? Well, there's a lot more, but you can definitely handle on that one. Keep it alive. So as you can see, as I'm making some new changes out there, what is the key status here for Brooklyn? Will it become more or will it become least? I have nothing to say about that. I, have, I haven't just checked out a, any of our players, but if they're going to be adding some more uh, franchise of players that we can do here in a secondary lineup, I think they might be doing uh, a little bit more better to keep the key in there and then keep it going. I think that might be a might be a great prediction for me, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what the NBA officials have to say. Butler in the corner, he finds Martin. Oh man, he's got lucky so far. Martin scores the drive as Butler takes the assist. Of course, that Butler really knows him. He's got a great open look. Durant. In the middle, up it goes, and it's rebounded by Butler. Butler right to Tucker, right over is Lowry. Martin up on the wing. Goes right to Lowry. Just a minute and a half to play here, and going up, and it's off the leg. Curry with the foul, that will be the second team foul on Brooklyn. Seth Curry, he really hasn't gotten a lot of pay attention here on defense, but I think we have a lot of courage to make it, Steve, come even more closer than he had. Lowry will head to the free throw line. That will be number two for Miami free throw lines. First free throw, hits it in there. Now Aldridge will check in for Sharp. Back on the uh, court. One shot left here for Lowry. I know you've seen Bernie over there. I think they're helping the team out. Great, get loud. They're always the best team. And Lowry hits two free throws. 
Miami leading by nine. Irving, right to Durant for three. That's good. That will be the first three-pointer for Durant, and Irving will take the assist. Durant, he's like the most players, but we all trust him on that point. After playing with the OKC Thunders, then the Golden State Warriors, and now the Brooklyn Nets. He might have a lot of moment to take it from here, and he might be taking another lane. Tucker, hit short, and that rebounds by Curry. Under a minute left to play here for the first half. Brown against Butler. And a missed again. He goes up. That's a saving tough shot. And another miss here for Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown didn't, couldn't find a man. He really didn't have another chance to get to the food and line. Now he finds Robinson. Five on the shot clock. Drives in. That's good. Robinson goes with 10 points. And they are up ahead to make the point even more bigger. Durant on Martin. Durant tucks it in the win. And he goes up with a jam. Watch out, Kevin Durant. He's got a, a lot of muscle out there. You don't want to hear what happened to Kevin Durant, but he might be doing it all over again. Lowry to Butler. Back to Lowry. Lowry up with a drive. That's good. Lowry with a smart move with a reverse layup. And that ends the first half here. 34 to 26 is your score. Well, we'll have to take you from here to hit the run on the deck. We'll be right back after this. All right, here's your first half of the recap of the Heat and Nets. Reports, the status is on the board. Now let's get you back on the court after the halftime show. Let's bring you from here. And we welcome you back here at the FTX Arena as we're about to start the third quarter. It's 34-26 Miami hitting the top. And my take for Miami has gotten a lot much better here. So sorry for Brooklyn that they couldn't be able to keep it up with uh, alive. I was able to see what was going to happen next if, uh, if Brooklyn Nets are going to try to win that whole thing here in the finals. But I am very have a hard, I have a bad feeling of how much average they have. I, I guess you're right. I think you could be right. Because those average are getting a lot much better, they really, really have to step things up. They're not really well because these other mans are doing a lot much better. The LU unsuccessful, but Drummond will have the rebound in there, and they're trying to keep it going. Andre Drummond has really gotten a, gotten a good start here for the first to second half, but sometimes he never scores on anything. All he does is take the block at them. He might be doing it our way. Lowry to Tucker. Tucker right to Robinson. Rebounds. Adebayo makes the shot. Adebayo with another drive in. And he has six points in the game. Six points. Don't have to worry. That's a lot of great hustling work here for Bam Adebayo. Here's Irving. Guarded by Lowry. Taking that over. Look at the angle. Irving makes the shot. And they're up trailing by six. Four points for the game so far for Kyrie Irving. He might be looking for another career to go high. Tucker, right to, to Lowry. He finds Robinson. Taking around, Robinson, oh man, he's crazy. Robinson moving in front and he has 12 points in the game. Robinson, I, I have nothing to say about him. Well, he's like very good. How often do you have to think? I don't have to comply. He's got a lot of great hustling work. Durant with the fade. That will be putting in there, and the next timeout will be called by Miami. 
351 to remain here in the third quarter. It's 38 to 32. We'll be right back and with you after this. New changes given up here for Brooklyn and for the Heat. All the depots checked back in along with the other players that turned out to be just like them. But there might be another chance here if they could try to keep it going. Here's Larry. Finds on the bio. He shoots up. That's good. On the bio. Eight points of the game. And they are still on streak. Leading by eight. Kyle Lowry has dominated five assists in each game. What an incredible run. Oh, wow. I really like his effort. He's doing a great job here making the assists come even more better. But I think that might be a lot much harder if he was going to try to pick up a rebound or shots. Nice D. He grabs it back. And another rebound takeover by Anabayo. Anabayo, he really is tall. I don't think Kyrie Irving may not be able to pick him up. But those players can definitely be tough then. Butler finding over his, his Butler. Back to Hero. Moves in. Scores in the paint. And they're up by 10. Tyler Hero. He really could be the only player to do it again. He was already rookie, but I think he's stepping into the pro. Oh, Bear with a bio with the block! And he rejected the ball. Johnson up. No good. That's Tyler Hero with the rebound again. Bam on a bio. What a crazy block he had. Without comparison from Rudy Gobert to this guy, I don't know who's going to make the blocks first. But it might be hard for them to try to keep it on. The drive's no good. Adebayo scoops it up here, and that goes with another two-pointer. Two minutes to play here for the third quarter. And the next timeout will be called out by Brooklyn. It went for under a minute, under two minutes to play here in the third quarter. And guys, let me tell you this one. Those uh, most impressive uh, players are doing a lot harder than they have. But I think there might be a lot much, uh, much deeper in control that might be putting up a better effort to take it from the other lane. To do, to do with nowhere in between. So the battle for the eighth seed will be will be a year, and that was the Pelicans that won the game. They will be playing against the Phoenix Suns happening tomorrow afternoon and we will be uh, with you for the next game from the other end and then we will stick over to the second verse seven seed in between those two we also have uh, noticed that the teams made some changes out there right now we have Cavs and the other side of it but that may be very hard to keep them in the game no matter how hard they play it's just very that simple. And now the new changeups here is currently going back again as Blake Griffin will take it from here. He finds Aldrich. Now he will go right to Thomas. Tragic will on the run. And it's rebounded by Butler. Adebayo going back the other way. Only hits grabbing two blocks here for the season. Adebayo, still looking over. Here he comes. And it's fouled by Blake Griffin. That will be their second team foul on Brooklyn. Blake Griffin receives his first foul. Bam Adebayo really got it right into the lane. But I think we all need to look up is we have to look up on each player to watch out for. If it starts hitting from the other end, we might have to be, be precisely to keep this thing alive. Adebayo hits the first free throw. Come back in will be Claxton. And make sure to stay tuned for the next game as this will be the Sixers against the, the Raptors. But right now the Raptors are currently in the sixth spot as this turns out around the other way to go from the other lane. It may not be enough for them, but you'll, you'll find out if it's another idea to go right in between each other. So, with a losing team trying to pick up the battle, that might be very hard for them to keep it going. 
Oh man, the three pointer is divvying up so far. Thomas is on back in strength. But they're trying to look you know, trying to look it over again and find out what will happen now. Struts right to Butler. Butler in pursuit. Makes in drive and a foul is on Claxton. That will be their third team foul for Brooklyn as the possession will be picking up for my Miami Heat. Stop the clock in a minute and 11 to go. It's 46-35. Butler shooting two at the free throw line. Hits the first free throw. The other team that we talked about here, and there's another chance for the plays so that will be the win. That will be the Cavs that they will be playing against the uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Raptors already screwed it up again. So we will be a switchback in between those two. Yes, I always definitely agree. Because of that time, we may not be able to see any players like the Sixers and the Raptors again. And it, it's a devastation in between the look. But I think we might see the Bucks and the Cavaliers to take from the other side. Oh, and the foul is called on Miami. That will be Struss, first foul, third to fourth team foul. That may be rough. And Kevin Durant, he pulling out a drive that time. He really didn't know where he was going to go, but he looks like he went up and too much with a with a pedal right in the lane. Durant hits the first free throw. Now Curry will be checking in for Patty Mills. One shot left for Durant. And he missed the second free throw, so that will be one out of two for Kevin Durant as this one is coming in the drop. Oladipo, right to Struss. Struss goes right to Butler. He picking in, lost the ball, it's taken away by Durant. And that will be a first steal for Brooklyn and a first turnover on Miami. Durant up, makes a shot. Now he's got it back in transition, down by 10. Kevin Durant really gotten a lot better. I don't know if we're going to see how well he can play, but that may be hard. Butler up, and a foul is on Claxton, the second team, second personal foul, fourth team foul. Now Jimmy Butler will do it again at the free throw line the second time. With 23.3 seconds, it's 48 to 38. Chip B. Butler hit the first free throw and a new changeup for Brooklyn is back. Four players will check out by Drummond and Brown with Irving are checked in and Durant will move over to the point forward in the position. That's good on the second free throw. Butler has eight and Miami leave up by 12. Durant on Struss, finds Curry with a deep three, that's good. Kevin Durant with the assist, and they're back by nine. They really got to step these things up a bit, because if you don't find a man in coverage, then you're going to be out of luck. Hero, hitting a buzz beater, and it's no good. That ends the third quarter, it's 50-41. One more quarter to go, and we will conclude the first game of the season. Be right back after this. And now we catch things up here at the State Farm Assistant Big Game. We're looking at a great player at that inbound. I love the way they hustle it. And for all that moment, it looks like it's just a just a catch to the to the right timing for Jimmy Butler. And that may be a very great run, as we might be seeing how well he can play.
We have played three quarters at this point, but now the last quarter should end up the first game of the rank of the playoff position. Let's get going here for the fourth. Bounce pass just got blocked up, but he holds on the ball. Hero. Hero's up. The shot is no good. That's another rebound for Brooklyn. And I'll be drumming with the ball. The attacker trying to come in free. Irving for three. That is good. They are pulling back in the position and they are down by six. They got to be really stepping it up at that point. They can never quit here. Oladipo to Robinson. Robinson to Oladipo. Right to Butler. Hero. Back to Butler. Oladipo. Stepping the corner. Two. It's good. Oladipo receiving another one. And at seven points for Oladipo. Oladipo got a very heavy start here for the fourth quarter. But not for long. How well he played for the first half? That's much better. Oh man, Irving is getting back in there. He's coming in very fast. And there might be on the breakdown. Here's Butler with the ball. Passes up to Hero. Hero, right to Butler. Shot fade, goes right to Oladipo. Oladipo. Hero for three. And it doesn't carry the rebound as Tucker misses it. Irving finds Curry. He's stepping in there close. Drumming on right to Irving. 4.15 to go in the fourth quarter. Durant. And it's an offensive foul. Andre Drummond gets a foul and the whistle's being turned over for Brooklyn. And one more block here for Andre being no Bam Adebayo with the block rejection. Mobile one block. Yeah, Adebayo seems to be very good here in playing defense. I think we might be seeing here his next pursuit to hit their way in there for the defensive player of the game. It could be in between the match of Rudy Gobert or Adebayo. Butler has the ball. He finds Martin. Shoots. Rejected by KD. KD, he's just like a, a fan favorite. And KD finishes the drive after putting up a block. And that goes up with another run. And they're coming down fast. Here's Martin. Martin passes to Robinson. To, to Lowry. Back to Martin. Butler up for three. And a two-pointer won't be here. And number three is not going to be here. That went on a three-point line. Two-pointer is being counted. Tell him, oh man, Kevin Durant, he's coming back in fast. They're bound down by two. Way to hustle. Way to hustle he played. I think their team is catching up for the first game to win. Pretty upset. Lowry find Martin. Shoots up. Reverses, goes, and Martin is pulling it back in there. Martin is on just a lot of a hustling and bustling rotation here. But this may be a very hard team. Rebounded by Drummond, and a foul is given up on Kyle Lowry. That's number five for the Miami team foul. Lowry with the first personal. Only 2.52 remaining, and it's only 56-52. to 52. But Andre Drummond will head to the free throw line. First free throw, missed the target. And now the change up here as Anabayo will check in for Martin and Tucker back to the point forward. But now goes to a starting five. And he hits the second free throw as this rounds up to be down by three. Here's Lowry. Hasn't able to score his game here for the fourth quarter, but he only scored a couple of them in the first and second half. Lowry. Back pass, Butler for three, good! Butler is on fire, and they are extending the lead by six. 
Butler is really getting into a, a better position in, in a position. He really got into it. Kevin Durant scraps it up and they're back down by four. Kevin Durant, he only has 20, but I think his most average could be a lot much harder than he might have. Butler with the ball, pass to Lowry. He moves it in there. Rebound. Adebayo. The shot doesn't go in there. Under two minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Curry finding it. Oh, he couldn't be able to answer back for Adebayo. And it comes up late. Andre Drummond take the slam. And they are down by two. Oh, boy. This is coming down in a while. Lowry for three. No good. That's another miss here for Miami. Brown with the ball. He goes over to Durant. Trying to work his way around. He finds him. And he's got it. They're all tied up now in the first game. And we're approaching under a minute and a half. Lowry right to Butler. Butler right to Ja Robinson. Now the screen can help out for P.J. Tucker to be here. And a shot. Well fade. Oh, P.J. Tucker got it. And a shot is good for Adebayo. Miami fans are going, getting up loud. And they're up by two. Here he goes. Another miss here for the alley-oop. And that will end it. Adebayo really seems to go down from coming in. But he may not be giving up here to go for another run. Lowry for three. That's in! Lowry dominates his run in the fourth quarter, and a timeout is called out by Brooklyn. I think the most fans are definitely really liking it. Not really sure what to say about that. But most of the teams, they really got into domination. They've gotten a lot of great strength out there. They've done a really good job. So for the, for the Heat and the Brooklyn, only 64 points has dominated their score, and 59 for Brooklyn. 20 rebounds in between the range by 19 and 20. It's a little close off the hook, but only three blocks, three steals, and only three turnovers to be even up. Only four turnovers for Brooklyn, and only one block was Kevin Durant. And two steals, broken up. Yeah, I always agree, but that's a, that's a lot of hard communication if you're going to uh, help the players out. You want to make sure you get this right in the game, because if you're not going to have time to think about it, you've got to go right through it and, and do it all that you can. It's time to present your New Balance player of the game, the first game in the playoffs. This one goes out to the one of the my best, Kyrie Irving. And Kyrie Irving, he really does dominate their run. Only 10 points, 26.2. I don't know what to say about him, but that's a, that's a hard carry and run. And another point is carried out. Kevin Durant with the making two. And they are down by three. Timeout called by Miami. Only 45 seconds to play here in the fourth quarter. We're looking for a win here in the first game in between those two right from the start. Miami or Brooklyn? There might be a choice that can be in intimidating to do with their run. Both teams have one timeout remaining and now their fans are going up crazy for the wild run. Butler right to Tucker. He goes up. Shot. Tucker releases his uh, shot, and they're leading by five. Aldridge right to Durant with a two. That's good. Next one occurs with 30 seconds to play. Adebayo with a shot as they will hold the ball here as the shot and game clock winds down. Hero right to Tucker. They're moving the ball here quickly, and Butler made the count! And one for Butler! He culture is right on the money! Jimmy Butler, how incredible is this guy? He has a lot of his pursuit run. 
they made it even more, more crazy than ever. After the basket and one, Jimmy Butler will head to the free throw line for one. And he got it. The last timeout will be called out by Brooklyn. 13.2 seconds to play here in the fourth quarter. Heat fans are rising big. They really have dominated their run to be on a second time. Don't forget, we have is the Pelicans first of first of the Phoenix Suns, and that will be their running kind of option to try to face their run and try to go up for another win on the attack. The other team, as Timberwolves make their way to the playoff spot, they will be playing up against the Memphis Grizzlies happening here on Tuesday. Tomorrow, it will be the Suns and the Pelicans. Don't forget to, uh, to uh, mark the schedule down on the board because that will be happening here next week on the game. And it's a lot of uh, a lot of encouragement out there, but that's a, that's a hard way to get right into the game. You want to make sure you get this one right? Those players can definitely be on a higher ranking. And the Heat only with one timeout left. If they make the shot, it will be last timeout for the Heat. Durant in the corner. Brown for three. And he's got it. The last timeout will be on Miami Heat. 8.4 seconds remaining. Their shot could be definitely hard on the money. Don't know what will happen, but that might be on the toughable breakout. One last change here. I will change it from here. And we will do another pick and rolls. I will do it right here. No timeouts called here, as they are down bug to zero. And this one will carry the foul on Irving. That'll be their first 15 foul on Brooklyn. And now Kyle Lowry will head to the free throw line to shoot two. 7.3 seconds in the final minutes of regulation time. Hits the first free throw. He makes the second one. It will be over. And there you go. Two free throws for Kyle Lowry is good. Last position for Brooklyn. For three, Durant. No good. First game is over. Miami wins the first game of the series. 71 to 66 in the postseason. Domination effort is not even just a toughable score, but when you think of it big, you got to go big. And with the closing of this game, let's take you down to David Aldridge on the sideline. David? Thanks very much, Jimmy. Explosive night for you offensively. You are feeling it out there. Uh, feeling it and taking rhythm shots. I feel like all shots that I take are going to win because I'm so used to taking those shots, man. But for my coaches and my teammates, they got the utmost confidence in me shoot whatever shot they know is going to be good. It was very good tonight, Mr. Buckets. Thanks for your time. Back to you. David, thank you as all. Thank you so much, DA. I'd like to thank you all for watching of the first game of the playoff season of the Heat and the Nets. The next game will be happening tomorrow afternoon. Once again, it will be the Suns and the Pelicans. Join us here for the next game as we will be approaching your way down to the bottom. Let's catch you on with the three star players of the game. Mifo, you start here first. Thank you very much. For the first third star, we go right from the end of the section, it's Bam Adebayo. Only 14 points in this game, 7 rebounds, 1 assist, and 2 blocks of this game. This turned out to be just one incredible run. Might be his domination, but I think the second game could be a much better pace if he could do it again. Here's your take for number 2, son of a beast. Number two take, this one goes out to Jimmy Butler for 16 points, five rebounds, eight assists in a row. He might be going up huge big at that point. Didn't really see that coming, but that's a lot of assists. What a play this turned out. 
And for number one take, me phone, what is your have? What do you have here? I have one moment of the take from here. I think that was a shocking of the first game, and that goes to a New Balance player of the game. That didn't turn out to be right, but it was Kevin Durant. 24 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, block, steal, and turnover. It really didn't stand out to this point, but I think a couple more games could be the option. Thank you so much for joining us here for the first game of the Eastern Conference first round of the NBA playoffs. We will be doing more on our way from the ever seed matchups. Peace out, everyone, for as a while as the NBA playoff on 2K Sports Style and the NBA 2K22 Dial. This is Son of Beast signing up. Good night in Miami. Did you know somebody